Hey everyone, how's it going? Hassan here and Ramadan Mubarak. If you have no idea what I just said, then this video is for you. Um, so basically today is the start of, of Ramadan and um, I, you know, I always get a bunch of common questions about stuff like um, what, what, like what can you do or cannot do or why do you do this or, or what not. And I thought it'd be cool to just put together this little video and sort of explain some stuff. Um, so just want to do a little basic overview of what Ramadan is and what it means and, and what goes on and all that. Um, so basically, uh, today is the start of Ramadan um, and uh, it goes by the lunar calendar. Um, so every year it's at a different time. Generally um, ends up being about two weeks or so earlier every year, something like that. Um, so this year it's starting, it's right in the middle of the summer. So it's going to be kind of difficult because the heat and the long days, um, but that's, you know, what it is. A couple years ago it was in the winter time. So it just, just changes all the time. So, um, but basically, uh, Muslims fast during the month of Ramadan. Uh, so it's this whole month, 30 days or so of, um, basically fasting from sunrise to sunset. So that means from sunrise, no eating or drinking anything like that until sunset. Um, so this morning I got up at about, um, three 30 or so to eat. Um, I had until like 4.15 or so to eat, um, so got up then, then no food or drinks all day so far. I've, I've done okay, I got a little hungry for a little while earlier, but I'm kind of over that now. I'm actually, it hasn't been too bad today, um, but then I, I won't be able to eat or drink until about 8.45ish today, um, so it's, it's a long day because it's the summer, um, but uh, yeah, no food or drink during the day, um, and um, basically... The, the idea behind it, there's, there's a couple of reasons. Um, one reason is it helps to give people an idea of what the poor, you know, feel like sometimes with when they don't have the food or drink um, to sustain themselves. Um, so if you're going through the day and you're not um, eating or drinking, you, you begin to sort of appreciate that stuff more. Like I realize I eat a lot during the day. Um, like at work, I'll just grab a little snacks. As soon as I come home, a little snack, like I'm always eating. So I'm like about to grab something. I'm like, wait a second, I'm fasting. Um, and so it just reminds yourself, you're like, huh, you know, interesting. And it's like, um, it, uh, it helps, um, to remind yourself, you know, of, of, of these things and, and really appreciate what you have. Um, and also it, in a way, cleanses yourself, um, in that when you're fasting during the day, like, you know, when you eat, you, who knows all the stuff that you're eating, all this junk and whatever else you eat, um, when you're fasting, you have a little bit you eat in the morning and a little bit, you know, in the evening once once sun sets. And that's enough to kind of keep you going through the day, but you don't have all this other junk coming into your body. So in a way, it's, it's kind of like cleansing yourself. Um, uh, so it can kind of be healthy in a way, too. Um, now, that's not to say, you know, if you're getting dehydrated, like if you actually get legitimately sick, you can break your fast and, and eat or something. Or, you know, if you're feeling sick that day, you won't fast. Um, so it's, it's not like, it's not meant to be a punishment. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going to be, um, oh, you're about to die of thirst. Oh, nope, sorry. It's not sunset yet. No, it's not like that at all. Not at all. Um, you know, if you're feeling sick or something, then you wouldn't fast that day. And what happens is later on, you would make that up. Um, you have the month of Ramadan and then you have a holiday called Eid. Um, and then after Eid, like, you know, if you missed one or two days of Ramadan because you were sick or for whatever reason, um, then after Eid, you would make those up. Um, the next one or two days you would fast. I've had to do that, you know, once or twice before when I've been sick. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's, um, so that's kind of what happens. And, and basically, by the way, so at the end of the month is a holiday called Eid. Um, there's actually two Eids. Um, there's an Eid al-Fitr and an Eid al-Adha. Um, so Eid al-Fitr happens after Ramadan. And then uh, a couple months or so later, they have the pilgrimage to Mecca that Muslims make, the Hajj. Uh, and there's an Eid al-Adha after that. So Eid is like our our big holiday. There's two of them. Um, the Eid is like my Christmas. I don't celebrate Christmas. So, you know, when Eid comes, that's, that's kind of the, the big one. So go for usually a prayer in the morning and then just celebrate with, with friends and family uh, the rest of the day. So uh, unfortunately this year, Eid has ended up on the day of my final exam for my summer class. Uh, so I will be taking a final exam on my holiday. It's not very fun, but, uh, you know, can't really get out of it. So you got to do what you got to do. I'll spend the rest of the day with the family. Um, but yeah, basically, so that's, you know, Eid is after Ramadan, you, you fast um, for those 30 days or so, sunrise to sunset, um, and uh, so that, that happens during this month, 
And uh, one of the other main ideas behind it is it's essentially a form of discipline. Um, a lot of people, when they think you're fasting, it's not just about the food and the drink. You know, it's not just about the um, no eating or drinking or whatever and that kind of stuff. It, it's about spiritually fasting in a way. Um, so throughout the year, you know, if you develop any bad habits or whatever, then this, this month of Ramadan is a way to cleanse yourself of that. Um, so, for example, um, if you're somebody that's, uh, I don't know, you, you curse a lot or something, you say a lot of bad words, right? So during this month, you refrain from cursing. You don't do that um, at all. There's, you know, you can't do any of that stuff. So then what happens is, hopefully by the end of the month, um, if every day you're practicing not doing that, that bad behavior, um, then by the end of, you have a whole month of practicing, by the end of the month, hopefully that'll stick. You know, like if you want to go to the gym or something, for example, um, let's say you go to the gym on Monday, and you're like, okay, this is great. You go on Tuesday, okay, this is cool. And then Wednesday, for whatever reason, you know, you miss it. Then Thursday comes by and you're like, you know what, should I go? I missed Wednesday, so maybe it won't be a big deal. You know, I'll go back tomorrow or whatever, right? Then Friday comes around, you're like, well, I just missed the past two days. I missed half the week. There's no point in going. So, like, if you just have such a, a carefree attitude in a way about it, like if you're not co fully dedicated and committed towards that sort of behavior every day on a daily basis, then it's not going to stick. So the idea is if you practice on a daily basis for a month not doing these bad behaviors, then by the end of the month, you'll already have that set. And so you're not, it's not like, hey, Ramadan's over, let's go back to doing whatever. No, it's, you know, you practice daily for these, these behaviors. Once the month is done, hopefully it sticks. And then you can implement that in your life the rest of the year. Uh, and then when Ramadan comes back next year, whatever other, you know, things that you want to improve upon, you can work on. Um, so in a way, it's um, a test of uh, discipline and dedication um, and commitment. Um, it's, you know, every now and then, you know, you, you have those, those thoughts sometimes when you're eating, like, what if I got a little snack? Like, well, what does it matter, you know? But then you have to remind yourself what the whole goal is. You do that, you break the entire goal of the month of Ramadan, which is that discipline. You have to train yourself that this is what I'm going to refrain from, and so I'm going to be able to do this. And so hopefully by the end of the month, you can condition yourself to be able to implement those behaviors the, uh, the rest of the year. Um, so in a way, it's, it's like training yourself, your, your body, to, and, and your life in a way to improve for the rest of the year. Um, so that's why, you know, it's a cool month. It's, it's a spiritually cleansing month in a way. Um, so it's definitely a time to, to celebrate and, and enjoy. Um, so yeah, so Ramadan Mubarak to everybody um, out there who's, who's fasting. And by the way, what that means is, is like happy Ramadan. Um, so uh, yeah, so that's about it. Today was day one and uh, only a couple more hours or so, right? It's um, I don't have the, the time pulling up, but, uh, yeah, so not too much longer for, for today. And, um, yeah, so far it's so good. Um, so just gonna stick through it and, and see how things go this month so far. So good, but it's, uh, it's going to be a tough one, but it's all about that, that dedication, that commitment. So, um, with the will of God, then I will, you know, get through this. So, um, yeah, so that's about it. If you guys have any other questions, like feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll be happy to, to try and answer them as well. Um, I, hopefully I covered kind of the main topics. Most people tend to ask me like, what if you're sick or what if this happens or that happens, you know, in extreme cases, like, like, I mean, if something happens, you can, you know, not fast. It's not, it's not meant to like torture you or something, you know what I mean? It's so it's, um, it's meant to be an improvement in your life and help you out. So that, that's really what it's, what it's all about. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you found it interesting. Maybe it answered some of the questions that you may have had. Um, and that's about it. So hope you all have a great day and see you guys later.